Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a rating my Doomstack video. So, this guy's playing as a Tain, and he's got an all-flying, unbreakable Doomstack. So it's mostly just nobles, all just full heroes. Um, all of these heroes have... I can't remember which trait it is, it might be resilient or something, but whatever the case is, they're all unbreakable. So it took him ages to get it, he said the quickest he could get it was turn 130. And he's got two Fire Wizards in here, which I'm assuming they're on Dragons, if it's going to be a full flying army. And then we've got Alariel on here on her Eagle. So he's attacked the Karaza Karak army here. They've got four armies, but if we combine it all, it's basically three armies. We could Lightning Strike it, but that wouldn't make it any fun. Let's see we how it goes. So in terms of practicality, like how practical this is, uh, it's immediately going to lose points for that. <laughs> it's not practical to get this. But we'll see how effective it is, because, uh, honestly, I applaud the effort to try to get 17 of the same trait of these nobles. I'll check out what trait it is after the battle, assuming we're not going to get attacked over the end. Oh, wait, it's, it's our turn. Okay. So, let me just see what their abilities are. The, the thing is, though, with eagles... Is that they, um, they're not necessarily high damage units. You use them to annoy the enemy. Not to, um, not to actually ditch out damage. But what we could maybe do... Is have the dragons deal with, uh, dishing out damage. I don't know. She got Sword of Cain. Ah, everyone's always got Sword of Cain. Uh, well, if there was ever a faction that you could give the Sword of Cain to, I guess it's, um, High Elves. Alright, we'll see how we go, and let's see how it performs. Are they gonna stand still? Alright, so... Ah, uh, so these ones here must also be unbreakable. Right? Or else... Yeah, yeah, they're unbreakable. And... Right, she needs to have the Sword of Cain in order to be unbreakable. Right, okay. Or she could just go and defeat Godric. Alright, let's just let them get their shit together first. And then we'll see how we go. Could go and attack them right now, over here. I don't know. But yeah, let's just wait for them to get set up. That way when we do our magic, we can inflict maximum damage. So, Star of Avalon, that'll be good. Right. I'm not going to bother trying to waste any ammo. Just wait for them to get set up. Because... Yeah, we'll just have to see if, if... If it actually does any damage. I just... I don't know. Just wait for them to show up. Alright, let's, let's start moving together a little bit. Maybe here. Hey, they've both got this ability. That's useful. Okay. Plenty of winds of magic. Alright, here we go. And, uh, let's see. So, the balance of power was not in our favor, but they didn't bring all of their forces. They probably got about a full 20 units still in reserve. But we really wanted them to clump up as much as possible. This army would be impossible for the enemy to catch us, so that's that's one positive. Let's go into the center of him there. And... Let's pop one of these down. And pop one of these down. And see how they like that. Okay. Oh, we should also use this. And this. Why not? And she got banishment, so use this. We got plenty of winds of magic, why not? Okay. 
Okay. Take a bit of damage on the dragons. Could send them down to help, I guess. Seeking the foe. Forward. Mm, that's actually not going to be very effective, I don't think. Orders. All right, ready to pop down again. And yet. The so they're holding out all right, especially it's considering they're going up against dwarves. All right, let's pop down the Heart of Avalon on you. All oh, right, I have to put it on the ground, don't I? That means it might not hit it, but we'll just see. Maybe we'll get lucky. No, I didn't hit the one that we needed. Luckily, he has a health potion. Alright, let's see what other interesting abilities any of them have. You know what? They're actually fighting pretty well. Give them that. I still, I'm, don't, I'm not certain what trait they've got. I just can't remember which one provides them um, unbreakable. Not gonna use one of Jet again. I want to be able to cast again real soon. Okay, we got this again, and just put. It. Not gonna hurt our own units very much. Honestly, I'm not too unhappy with how long they've been fighting there. I kind of figured that they'd take a lot more damage than this, but they're they're holding their own. Like they're definitely not invincible. You know, there's slayers in here. God, they're being annoying. Alright, that one there is in really bad shape. That's going to need constant attention now. Just have to hope it hits it. You know what, instead of having two fire wizards, maybe one life wizard might have helped. Uh, no, then again, you've got a Lariel. More reinforcements coming in. Alright, let's let's get rid of these gyro bombers. They're pissing me off. That'll give us a bit of a chance to heal as well. Just hold off on using that. Not too concerned about Iron Drakes, apart from the Troll Hammer ones. Definitely need to worry about those. Could do that, but I think better spell um, just keep healing. Tempest might be okay to use. Just to slow it down a bit so the dragons can get it. That'll show it. Probably did a bit of damage to our own units, but main thing there was just to slow it down, and we got it. Good, because it was just annoying me. Alright, we got Thorgrim Grudge Bearer over here. Why don't we go get rid of him? Let's keep that healing up. Going the board. Onward. 
Okay, I think... Is he gone yet? Yeah, Thorgrim's gone. Good. Don't worry about these Dwarf Warriors. That's not important. Yeah, Troll Hammer Torpedoes. Get rid of them. They're probably going to do a ton of damage to us. If you have a look... They have... They've, oh, they've actually done a ton. I really should have focused on them earlier. We want to try to get into a nice big blob again so that we can cast some more magic spells. What, what's this? Organ guns? Yeah, we got to get rid of that. Yes, yeah, sooner the better. Alright, just, just go now. A flamethrower is not going to do much to us. Okay, I need to start healing the dragons. Okay, try to spread out a little bit. And move in erratic maneuvers just so the head <laughs> don't get absolutely swarmed by these. And get over there and get rid of these. Alright, with these guys coming in here, that's got to indicate that they're at the back end of the battle. Uh, okay, hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want that shooting. There we go. No one's no one's out yet. All right. I want to use another dragon breath. If you can come over here, pop it down over. Here. Oh, this guy's not going to hold out much longer. Let's get him out. Same with this one. Let's get him out. Oh, he can stay a bit longer. He had a potion of healing, sort of. Pretty bad shape. Get him out. Oh shit, we lost one. Who's in there? Because we took a lot of damage all of a sudden there. Is Ungrim there? Ah, oh, that's what did it. Ungrim got us. Alright, there's the army losses, but we just got to get rid of um, Ungrim, because he's unbreakable. So yeah, he'd be the only person in the entire army that got a kill. Yeah. Wait, he didn't actually get the kill. 15,000 damage, the crap. Keep healing. He doesn't do magic damage, does he? Can't see. I can't get at his unit card. Come on, click it so I can check. It's too late. The, the spell's already passed anyway. So we use that. You know what might be better if you actually could overcast this, because that's useful for um, providing extra melee defense. If you're going to use them as tanks, yeah, having some more points into that would be useful. So, heroic victory. But one of our nobles did get wiped out. So, Ungrim must have brought him down to such low health that this guy here just got the, the final blow. And uh, let's start evaluating it. So that was a lot of force to go up against. Like, a single sister's doomstack would not have beaten that. No way in hell. Um, a dragon spam army under a dragon world lord. I think it would. I think it would have done better. Be free. Um, they must die. It's definitely not going to score, like, top points. You are free to go. Right, what was the trait? What was the trait? Pfft. 
Only 327,000 gold rookie numbers. Come on, you can do better than that. No, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, so what's the trait called? The hell? Dawn's hope. Yeah, it was resilient, physical resistance, and unbreakable. Ah, that's how they were able to like tank so much. Extra physical resistance that works well against dwarves. And this one here is resilient as well, right? No conductor. How did you get this unbreakable? How did you get that? Ah, you got must have two Helm of Canes. There it is. There it is. So you don't necessarily need the resilient trait. You just need the Helm of Cain like 20 times. And she's got the Sword of Cain, so that sorts it out. So, right, all right. All right, so giving this a rating, I'd... You got another one over here as well. That's not unbreakable. Uh, I'd probably give this one 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I think it's pretty good. Um, it's, it's not, it's not a super strong doom stack. It's not very practical. There's, there's definitely better combinations that you can do. Like, I think Phoenix spam is better. I think Dragon spam is better. I think that Sisters of Avalon spam is just way more practical because you can just get so many more of them. You can get them early. You don't have to rely on so many of the exact same traits. Like, like you said, took... 130 turns just to get one of these stacks, so it's not super practical. But I think a score of 8 out of 10 just because it is very strong, it's just not very practical, and it's not as strong as other Doom stacks that you can do with the high elves. So I'll, I think 8 out of 10 is fair. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you.